Hi everyone. Today we will start a new topic, custom floodlight variables. In my previous topics, I have described about what is a floodlight, what are types of floodlights available within Double Click Campaign Manager, and now we will be talking about custom floodlight variable, which is which is an an advanced feature within the floodlight. Now, custom floodlight variables enables you to capture information beyond basic visits and revenue. So if you if you have gone through my previous video, we have said that floodlight is just used to record conversions, to report on the revenue, to report on the transaction and to build audience. Now to build an audience, you can actually segregate your audience according to the different parameters that you set. And in order to do that, custom floodlight variables helps you to do that. So let's start that you can collect with standard parameters in your time. Custom variables uses the case sensitive keys like U1, U2 and so on and can take any values that you choose to pass to them. You can include custom variables in any of your floodlight activity tags and report on their values in report builder. You can create up to 100 custom variables. So this, this point is a bit important because in the interviews it's been asked that how much custom floodlight variables that you can create. So just remember that you can create 100 custom floodlight variables per floodlight configuration. You can also add friendly names to these parameters, easier to understand in the reports. So over here, I have also given a small case study where you can understand the importance of using custom floodlight variables. So there are a lot of creative ways that you can use custom uh, floodlight variable like location, pass the area code, the shipping or billing, postal codes, the region. So now let's take an example that you are uh, an e-commerce platform, you're using, uh, you know, you're selling something, okay? And now you want to get a report that, okay, for this particular product, how many different types of user about different location have bought this product? So you just need to create one U1 value in which you have to give the name location and then you have to pass that value so whenever you know somebody is making a purchase and goes on to the complete goes on to the thank you page right from seeing the ad clicking on to ad going on to the product selecting the product and making the purchase and once the purchase is completed it goes into the thank you page so this is a complete user journey now this floodlight variable, the U1 variable where you have passed the location parameter, it will capture that. How it will capture that? Because once the user is filling that where exactly they need the shipment, what is the billing address, so floodlight will capture the location that from the address and by that you can segregate your user that who all bought from Maharashtra or from Bihar or from Delhi. By this you can segregate your uh, audience accordingly. Now. Travel and vacation. Pass the number of nights booked for hotel participation in reward program, route or fare details or travel. Now again, if you are a traveling company or you are a hotel uh, belonging from a hotel industry, now you want to see that what, how many types of users have bought your suite, your double bedroom, a normal room. You can also pass the information on the flight ticket, the maximum flight ticket that has been bought right from Delhi to Agra, Delhi to Mumbai, Delhi to Bangalore. So by this, you know, the leadership of the business, they want to know that how many tickets are being bought and which is the best destination. This generally is being used to analyze data in the reporting, uh, from the re reporting standpoint. That gives the, you know, the business holders a real insight that which particular ticket or the booking system is performing good for you. Now moving further, loyalty and there are different, different types of uh, you know examples that I have set over here. Like again, one example is the stock keeping unit, product name, sales tax amount, shipping amount. So these things if you, you, know, you can use uh, to pass the value and capture that into the reporting system. So if you are an advisor or you are promoting uh, somebody else with uh, business, if you are using custom floodlight variables, just make sure that you're not actually uh, capturing the PII, which is a personal identifiable information. And if you're found doing so, your floodlight, your website would be banned uh, you know, from within Google to promote your uh, you know, website. 
So this you have to keep in mind. Also, I have given the different case study in the study material uh, below. So I would request the user to go through the different uh, you know case studies the types where exactly the custom flood light variables can be used. And if you have any questions or doubt, I will you know you can just uh, drop the question onto the comment box. I would love to go ahead and answer those. Thank you.